Today's weather brought to you by T-Mobile, America's largest 5G network. Visit your local T-Mobile store and switch today. Well, Sean, saw some flakes mixed in with the rain this morning, but yeah. that stuff is heading out of here. It is going to eventually get out of here. We may see a few more of those tonight into tomorrow, especially east of I-35. There could be a little accumulation over there, but eventually things are going to get better. But we have a little wind to get through first. Let's go show you what's going on. A little sun actually trying to peek out now from behind those clouds. This is a live view here in Mankato, and you can see that uh, we're... Hanging in there at 42 degrees, wind out of the north at 19, gusting into the 20, 25 range, and that does give us a little bit of a wind chill factor, but we are going to warm things up eventually. There is warmer air to the west. Out in Sioux Falls, it's 53. Spencer, 51. Marshall at 45, and that warmer air is eventually going to get here. The snow is keeping things a little cooler to the east. Austin at 39. Rochester currently at 35. Hey, I want to talk about some of the rain we've had over the last few days. Some good rain. Jackson and St. James, almost three quarters of an inch, over a half in Wasika, Fairmont, Algona, Owatonna, Blue Earth, 55 hundredths in Mankato, around a half inch of rain. New Ulm, 22 hundredths up north, not quite as much with about five measly hundredths up in Hutchinson, but a little rain up there too. And this uh, is going to continue to kind of slowly build. We'll add maybe another few hundredths onto that with these showers that continue to kind of slide north to south here on the backside of a big load that's sitting over the Great Lakes. Snow to the east, and again, there may be a little accumulation out there, but we do have some showers. Redwood Falls down to Wyndham, Jackson. We're going to continue to see those gradually slide west to east as this low slowly makes its way out of here over the next 24 hours. But uh, before we get there, it's going to do a couple of things. First of all, uh, the low is actually strengthening, and with this low here and the high to our northwest, we're going to see the wind pick up considerably I think here as we make our way into tonight and tomorrow we have a wind advisory in effect late tonight through Wednesday we're talking wind gusts from 35 to 45 and there could be a few places especially as you get further southeast into Iowa where we have wind gusts up to close to 45 or 50 miles per hour so it is going to be very windy and further east and I think it's going to be east of our KEYC coverage area but there could be some blowing snow tomorrow over east of Rochester into Wisconsin because they're going to continue to see scattered snow showers for a while. Here's the wind gust forecast, and you can see that we'll be hovering in the 20s here through the night. But by 8 a.m., we climb into the mid-30s, and then through the day tomorrow, wind gusts 35 to 40 miles per hour. So it is going to be fairly windy tomorrow. Here's the hour-by-hour -hour forecast as we take you through tonight. You can see scattered rain showers. Notice how this little mess of snow continues to kind of develop to the west, and so we may see... Uh, dusting of snow along at east of I-35. A few snow showers too possible as temperatures drop here in our area, but eventually this whole thing will move out. Clouds will decrease and the conditions will improve as we make our way into uh, tomorrow. Here's the snow forecast. Again, less than an inch generally over toward Rochester and far southeastern Minnesota. Could be a couple of inches on top of what we have. Good news is things are coming back. 50s, even 60s on the 10-day forecast. 30 tonight, mostly cloudy, becoming windy. North at 15 to 25, could have some gusts up to 35 by late tonight. And then tomorrow, there you go, windy, mostly cloudy, 48. North wind gusting to 40, 45 plus. Thursday, a little better. By the way, Thursday's the Twins home opener. will gradually clear out 51. It'll be in the upper 40s in the Twin Cities, so the wind will die down for the Twins opener on Thursday. Friday, 53. Saturday, 59. And then we are keeping an eye on a system that could bring some showers and some wind by late weekend into early next week. Still early, it'll all depend on where that tracks. And then 60s next week. So eventually it will feel more like spring, Stacey and Dion. We have some mm -hmm. good stuff. We know we'll get there. It's coming. All righty. Thank you, Sean. You well, tonight at 10, state lawmakers continue debating omnibus bills at the state capitol. Plus, on this World Autism Day, experts are trying to raise awareness on how autism in young girls is often overlooked. Join us for those stories and more tonight on KEYC News Now at 10. We'll be right back. This 10-day weather forecast is brought to you by Belter Window Siding and Roofing. B-O-E-L-T-E-R. Belter is better.